Hey, and welcome to level 4 in prompt ML. So we got this function in here, which basically takes a user input in the form of URL. So if I write something in here like this, hello, it basically says invalid resource. Why? Because this function expects user to write something in here in the form of a URL like this. So if I copy this and paste it in here, still says invalid resource because of the space yeah now it's fine as you can see this function basically takes user input and put the user input inside the src attribute of this script tag yes so how we are going to pop up our alert box because that's what we want to do right so in order to do that maybe you want to include our own javascript file which consists of some malicious javascript code like maybe you can use a web hosting service provider to host your own website and then you can use that URL and you can paste that URL in here and and it will work for you. Maybe you're not understanding that much what I'm talking about. So I'm going to manually demonstrate it in my machine. I'm going to open my Visual Studio and I'm going to make a new file in here. Uh, let's save it as, let's say test.html. Uh, so let's assume that this test.html is actually this page in here. Let's assume it. This page is actually our test.html. So let me write some basic HTML code in here. And inside body, I'm going to write script tag. What I'm going to write? I'm going to write basically this thing in here. So this is a script tag, and source is going to be test.js file. And then script close. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. So in here, I basically wrote the name of the a file that I'm going to use because this is this test.js is going to be in my in my machine, right? So let's go to this file and save it as test.js. So this is my test.js file, and I want to include this test.js file inside my HTML file. And inside test.js, as you can see, it is totally empty right now, but I'm going to write some code in here. Let's say alert um, one. Yeah, this is all we want to do. And control S to save it. Now this test.html is basically going to load this test.js file. And when it will load the test.js file, the alert box will pop up. So let's see it practically I'm going to open the test.html file so uh, yeah open as you can see it's totally empty and didn't pop up anything why I think I didn't save it control s yeah so if I reload it as you can see the pop-up box is totally working why it's working because this is my test.html file and this file is basically loading the test.js file and test.js file as you can see consists of malicious code in in my case is basically alerting one but uh, maybe user can write anything right that actor can write anything i mean it doesn't make any sense but why not as you can see so maybe the attacker may write uh, document.cookie to steal cookie or something like that. So why I demonstrate you this in order to show you, like this is how it's actually going to work if you host your own website and your own website is going to have this test.js file 
and it will going to have its own URL. So when you include that URL in here, a pop-up box will alert in here. I cannot demonstrate in here because uh, I cannot host a website on my own. But you can understand the concept, right? You get the concept of how it's actually working. Yeah, I hope you understand and get the idea. I tried my best. So yeah, thanks for watching.